what has the violent disorder been like in the last 24 hours? It looks utterly grim. I know they're saying that it's died down a little bit, but, I mean, there was rather a lot of it to die down, wasn't there? Yes, quite right, Patrick. And the uh, scary thing is that people woke up every morning to find uh, the shops in their streets and quiet street, quiet shops uh, in quiet streets uh, broken down, stuff stolen in a sort of random manner. When they were not woken up at 3 a.m., again, in sort of perfectly sort of nice neighborhoods in which suddenly somebody was shaking up the door because they wanted to access whatever shop was in the courtyard or was accessible by the, the building door and this destroying and pillaging everything. And television, of course, has shown images of that. We now are beginning to understand that the first day, which may have been crucial to set the tone, there were uh, severe instructions to the police not to have another incident, quote unquote, and therefore they held out uh, and, and they, they rather than risk another uh, another killing. And the result is that there was an emboldenment of the movement by people who have no uh, political uh, demands whatsoever. People say these are protests in Paris. They are not protests at all. It is, it's, I mean, they are riots by people who essentially are out to get revenge for whatever they can express and, and to steal lots of stuff. Lots of the stuff that got stolen on the Champs Elysees and elsewhere is all already on sale on Vinted, for instance. Right. So they are looting everything that they can get their hands on and then selling it to make money, which to me does not appear to be a particularly good way to mark the death of a 17-year-old boy at the hands of the police. It's almost like it's not really all about that, isn't it, I, I, I think? Uh, what are we seeing in terms of the police's reaction now? I thought it was fascinating what you just said there, that the police or the, the politicians were too afraid, initially, of having another incident that they stood back and, well, this is what you get, isn't it? Well, that is something that we saw also at the Stade de France, and you remember the, the attacks against the British supporters uh, during the World Cup. And what's really interesting, I spoke to policemen at the time and they said we had instruction from the préfet, the préfet de police was in charge specifically of policing in Paris, not to de de go away from the places we're supposed to guard, even if we saw people being attacked. And that has been existing in France for almost a quarter century. There has been an attempt to try and uh, mitigate, if you will, to, to appease, and that's that's a loaded word in English, I know, uh, to appease people so that the rights won't be worse. But of course the rights get worse because there's a feeling of impunity.